Just like uh, Simon Baker, I really, I rearranged my schedule to be here today. Um, I would not pass up the opportunity to be in this room though. But man, my schedule, it's just, you do not want my life. <laughs> Very busy. But today is not about me. About 14 years ago, I got my first film job. Um, and uh, it, was, well, it was my first uh, job in front of a film speaking actual words and with a character name. And I was outrageously enthusiastic and nervous, but I was most excited to work with my first celebrity. From General Hospital, Roy DeLuca himself, A. Martinez. Very excited. I joined uh, the movie about um, like two weeks into their shooting schedule. And on my first day on set, this, this beautiful blonde actress walked into the, um, the makeup, uh, I don't want to say trailer, tractor, you know. Uh, it was one of those types of movies. Uh, and I remember she was, she was delivering homemade brownies to the entire crew, and she had the most insanely infectious laugh. And everyone around her seemed to just adore her. And there was something about this girl that immediately put me at ease. And um, there was also something about this girl that told me, stay close to her, because she's where the party's at. And that actress is Elizabeth Banks. <laughs> or Liz Banks, as I call her. You all got your Bobby De Niro's and your Marty Scorsese's. I got my Liz Banks. So uh, since I first met uh, Liz on that tiny independent film, and for those of you who are interested, it's, it's called Ordinary Sinner. And if you're awake around 3 a.m., uh, go to the Logo channel. It's filler TV around that time. It's very, very good. Underrated. Uh, but since then, Liz went on to appear in numerous blockbuster films, Spider-Man, Catch Me If You Can, Seabiscuit, The 40-Year-Old Virgin, Pitch Perfect, and my personal favorite, Wet Hot American Summer, Amy Pola in the house. Not about you, it's about Liz. Um, in 2010, she took her biggest career risk, playing a character that no other actress in Hollywood was willing to take. Effie Trinket in the film adaptation of the underground obscure book series, The Hunger Games. Big risk. And it was rewarded. On television, she has earned two Emmy nominations for her guest starring role on 30 Rock, and I was beyond thrilled when she guest starred on Modern Family as Mitch and Cam's best friend, party girl, and loose cannon, Sal. I, I cherish the fact that I got to know Liz at such a, a young age because I, I sort of have this bird's eye view of her ever blossoming career. And as a fellow actor, I'm constantly amazed and inspired hot by how effortlessly she moves between comedy and drama, film and television as a gifted actor, smart producer, and talented director. She chooses roles that she wants to play and seeks projects that will challenge her as an actress and as an artist and as a humanitarian. She's also kind of an amazing wife and mom and not to mention an extremely loyal friend. Today we celebrate her recent role as a director and a do-gooder. When Liz first got involved with the American Heart Association's Go Red for Women, she didn't know that heart disease is, a, is the number one killer of women. That's approximately one woman every minute. What's more, uh, heart disease often presents itself differently in women than men, but all too often, women don't recognize the warning signs. Liz saw an opportunity here to educate women through a clever blend of humor and real life drama, and thus her short film, Just a Little Heart Attack, was born. <clears throat> Liz directed and starred in this film that continues to touch millions of women and literally saving millions of lives. Take a look. Roll the tape. It started out like a totally normal day. Objection deadline to the third line after survey. Oh, honey, for, for when you are, you always use the verb. What are you doing down there? Did you finish your breakfast? Ow. Whew. Don't hit your brother. <laughs> I mean, you have to eat something. Here. Okay, five minutes to carpool. Where's my coffee? Mm. You okay, Mom? Oh, I'm fine. 
sandwich orders. What do you want? Almond butter and jelly. Spaghetti. Oh, you sure you're okay? I'm fine, sweetie. I am so late. Hey, buddy, how you doing? Oh, I'm so late. Hey, honey. Hmm. You okay? Uh, yeah, I'm fine. You sure? Oh, yeah. Here. Acai, my favorite. See you guys later. Okay. Where are your shoes? Put your shoes back on, please. You know, go help your sister. We're going in three minutes. Oh, my God, what am I doing? I forgot to cut off the crust. Voila, shoes on, potty if you need it. Honey, get your sister. Okay, here. Nobody move! I'm getting a dustpan. Oh. Mom! Mm. I think you're having a heart attack. Honey, do I look like the type of person who has a heart attack? <laughs> I'm just gonna sit down. <sighs> totally fine. Don't forget to wear the high socks with the shin guards. Forget about the shin guards, Mom. <gasps> Come on, Mrs. Underdog is not gonna wait. Sorry to bother you. <laughs> I think I might be having a little heart attack. <laughs> Nothing really, just some nausea, tightening of the jaw, dizziness, shortness of breath, muscle pain, achiness, this terrible pressure in my chest. Oh, really? They can be here in how long? <gasps> Two minutes. <laughs> can you make it 10? <clears throat> I thought I had gas. Turns out, I was having a heart attack. Heart disease is the number one killer of American women. So now I take care of my heart and I tell the women in my life to do the same. Sounds great, by the way. That's nice, sweetie, but that's not my heart. That is. Make it your mission to save your life and the lives of the women you love. Find out more from the American Heart Association at goredforwomen.org. Liz Banks is one of the only women I know who will find the physical comedy in a heart attack. It's my honor to present the American Heart Association Go Red for Women Award to my good friend, the beautiful, hilarious, and talented Liz Banks. As is Jesse. Jesse is a newlywed, so congratulations, Jesse. He just got married, guys. I love you, and I love what you stand for. Thanks. Um, welcome to the club. I'm 10 years blissfully into marriage myself, and uh, I can tell you that it just gets harder and harder. <laughs> Jesus. Anyways, uh, thank you also to Variety and the American Heart Association. Uh, not just for this nice honor, but for putting me in a room filled with a captive audience of amazing women. Because I have a feeling that many of you are like me, and you had no idea until right now that heart disease is the number one killer of women more than all forms of cancer combined. It's true. There's a lot of talk about boobies, and I love boobies and we are um, all for boobies, but you are four times as likely to die from heart disease as from breast cancer. And then there's our vaginas. <laughs> you know, we, uh, most women in our childbearing years have one doctor, a primary care physician, your gyno. And while it's absolutely important to get your pipes and baby maker checked, when was the last time your gyno checked your cholesterol or hooked you up to an EKG? You need to check your heart, or when you make your babies, you won't be around for them. So, you all know who you are. Get a primary care physician. You make appointments for your husband's. You probably know his cholesterol, but not your own. Getting involved with Go Red for Women was a no-brainer uh, after hearing from heart surgeons that 70% of their patients are men, not because men suffer from heart disease at a higher rate, but because women don't make it to their tables. Pink ribbons, amazing. Red dresses, also great. 
I urge all of you to know your risk factors, your family histories, a murmur, high blood pressure, and the signs of a heart attack that are specific to women, which we kind of dealt with a little bit in that ridiculous video that has a really hot guy in it. I got to cast it because I directed it. Um, <laughs> Colin Eggleston, he's really handsome, isn't he? Jesse, Jesse knows. Jesse knows how handsome that guy is. <laughs> Anyways, all kidding aside, many patients tell the AHA that their symptoms resemble gas or PMS. You know how we all get. We're just like, oh, I'm a little off today. Like, you might be having a heart attack, ladies. Get to know the symptoms. Heart disease has been nicknamed a silent killer, which is also why I can't shut up about it. We have heard a lot today about our power, our impact. Go Red for Women is about much more than just wearing red. It's about making a pledge to not let a conversation or connection slip by without spreading these life-saving messages. So thank you again for the opportunity to do that today. I, for one, know that heart disease is no match for the power of women's voices when we speak red. May we all live long and prosper.